Live Jerome Party Studio. Live from Jerome Harden Studio. Live from Jerome Harden Studio. This is the last of my guest guys. I wanna say about so you sit back, relax, chillax, and I'll see you later. What's up on JR? Are you sure alright? Let's get started. Live from Jerome Harden Studios. This is the latest on my update that I'm willing to tell you about. So as you sit back, relax, chillax, and I'll tell you the latest stuff. Hello, my name is Jerome J. Harden, founder and graphic designer of Jerome Harden Studios. So the latest topic we're going to talk about, um, I was actually going to talk about um, Facebook Jail 19, but actually this is a very similar topic related to Facebook and actually we're going to talk about Facebook all this topic long okay let's call this yesterday so yesterday we had a worldwide outage of Facebook Instagram and WhatsApp and what that means is um there is a outage all around the world and people are freaking out people can't access their posts people can't post what they want they crying like um now they complain that they can't post uh, what they had for breakfast, lunch, or even dinner. Uh, but around uh, 4.30 or 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, something like that yesterday, Facebook just recently um, rebooted back up, just came back on, just like Instagram and WhatsApp, something like that. But um, really, folks, um, what I wanted to talk to you about is the... Uh, what has social media has done to society lately because um really um what i mean by um when uh society takes over people's lives like back then back in the 1990s and the early 2000s and so on um we used to be a world without all these things such as instagram facebook twitter uh you even youtube because YouTube hasn't been invented since 2005, so um, without all these social media platforms, uh, people used to go out, party, have a normal conversation with other people face to face and something like that. You don't talk around people people's back. Um, but the only social media that we had around that time in the 1990s and the 2000s, um, we used to do email. Um, and we even have uh, MySpace. Uh, if y'all don't even remember what a MySpace is, or some of you youngsters that are watching this video right now, we used to have MySpace, which is uh, created back in 2003 um, by the name of Tom Anderson. I mean, he was our first friend, and don't you remember that um, when he was automatically at us, and he was very friendly, and he didn't mind uh, whatever we post. He let us uh, post whatever we want, and if you don't remember MySpace and Tom Harrison, which he let you post whatever he want, um, rather than Facebook with all these restrictions, putting you in Facebook jail, uh, people reporting you, such and such, all these haters doing all this stuff, trying to bring you down, especially when you own a business. That happened to a lot of entrepreneurs in my friends list. People are complaining, people are getting upset, people are sort of, uh, acting surprised. Um, People are rebooting their routers. People are yelling at their phone companies, complaining at their phone companies. I mean, people are threatening their internet providers, telling me you need to fix this or I'll, come, I'll do this and that. I mean, everything went crazy today because all of the social media platforms were down. I mean, this is what I'm talking about when it comes to uh, society and social media, especially your kids when kids are doing dangerous stuff for you know for attention and uh they doing a lot of dangerous stuff you want me to tell you what they're doing um they're swallowing uh tide pods they're uh drinking bleach and i even heard a girl is doing it for tiktok that she's swallowing small magnet balls or whatever she's swallowing magnet balls and her mother knew about it and it's really crazy because after she swallowed all these magnets in her mouth, she had to get surgically removed. You know why she did that? She's doing it for attention, such as kids doing hookies, kids um, 
stealing stuff from schools. I mean, it happened around my area too, from where I live at. So all these stunts, all these kids are doing right now, they are doing it for attention. And it's very a shame that it has to come to this when it comes to social media and attention. And all these um, social media celebrities such as YouTube and especially Instagram and Facebook. Because what if um, Facebook and Instagram are down for good and that celebrity uh, is lose all their followers and all their followers is generate the money for them. Because, you know, um, back to uh, the celebrity part of the Instagram where... If you have a million followers and people are following you on uh, Instagram and on Facebook and they give you all the attention, raking in all the money um, that you are earning from your followers and they give you attention. And remember, um, there are such um, options that you can get paid. Um, you can ask people to, you know, donate you through Cash App. You they can go. Uh, you can ask them to go on your OnlyFans, Patreon. They have all these sites and all, and all these um platforms that you do to generate money. So, really, um, that's what I mean when social media is taking over the world. Um, and don't make me get started on computers taking over certain electronics such as TVs, video games, phones. Um, laptops. I mean, laptops are technically computers. Don't get me wrong here. But, um, yeah, so this is what uh, I wanted to talk to you guys about today because um, I went on Facebook this morning. Everything was working fine earlier. And then around lunchtime or whatever, when I tried to get on Facebook, it said um, the systems that were doing everything and get fixed what I can. I thought it was my internet at first, but then... As the day goes on, everybody's complaining. Everybody's freaking out. You know, they can't get on Facebook. I was, they was like, oh no, what I do? I need to own my own, I need to run my business. I need to make my money. Well, um, I uh, watched this lady right here today. Uh, um, I'm not going to say her name because I never had permission, but I forgot it anyway. So really, it doesn't even matter. But um, I uh, watched this lady's uh, live stream today and she was talking saying that she is making money without facebook nor instagram she is getting money through uh multiple sites so when i watch that uh live stream that reminds me right there that i need to do the same so i recently opened up a epsi account and i didn't even get to finish it but i was going to and on top of that i was going to do uh, promote my business on twitter and I need to also do word of mouth. I need to start passing out business cards again. I mean, it, there's so much things you can do uh, to kill off time and to get generate uh, money for your business. It's just not you can you can do this on social media at one time. Um, like this lady said, don't put your eggs in one basket because if you do, it, everything else is going to fail. I mean, like I said, what if Facebook? What if Instagram never comes back once it's shut down and then you're a big celebrity and you lose all your followers right there and you lose all your money and you one of these platforms are your main source of income? I mean, what do you do right there? I mean, how are you going to regroup? How are you going to get all these followers back? Especially the people that you barely know because you have all these followers following, following you. You get that? Because... Um, so really social media is a, you know, social media can kill you if you're not careful of what you're doing. And, um, besides that, um, when, uh, when we have, uh, like saying, for instance, that, you know, we have keyboard warrior warriors or you disagreeing on a subject and then you start arguing and then you go back and forth and back and forth. And then this person makes a whole post about you and then she gets, uh, that person gets a whole lot of people on you because you said this and that and then you know you're arguing back and forth and then a bunch of people will call you negative names and all that and think of you because of social media and never even see you in person and you know when they do see you in person and then you the they uh, talk about you they say something to you negative because of that post on social media all that social media stuff that can kill you right there social media is sometimes 
not a game that you need to be playing with. Um, social media, you know, that can affect your life right there. Um, you know, if you're not careful on social media and stuff, you know, it can affect your life. It can affect you find a job, a house, you know, it can affect anything. So, you know, you really have to be careful on what you say, what you post, you know, people might like it, people may like it, people might not like it, but, you know, it's just, you know, the world is today, because 20 years ago, um, we don't even have these things, we don't even have YouTube, so, um, I was eight at the time, so, I don't know really what's going on, all I can remember is, uh, all we had for communication is original cell phones and telephones, an email that's it you know there is there is not even a myspace back then it's not even created till two days later two years later back then so <coughs> um yeah so that's uh uh the first social media platform right there is uh myspace um and uh so on and so forth facebook is created in 2004 so I don't know how Facebook was in 2004, and then after that, 2005, YouTube was created. Um, so, and then, uh, so forth, you know, that's how social media is born, back in the 2000s. So, nearly 20 years ago, Facebook would be 20 in 2024, and MySpace will be 20 in 2023. So, um, yeah, so... Really, guys, uh, that's how social media is affecting daily lives, you know. And, by the way, guys, um, you know, you can watch some of that TV on Facebook and on YouTube, too. Um, because uh, on the next topic, I will talk about uh, how TV dying and all that stuff. Um, and then, um, <clears throat> that TV's dying, you know. All the shows are going on uh, Netflix, um, Disney Plus, and all that. It's going on all the mainstreaming channels instead of going on the cable because cable's dying too, and you know it's getting crazy because the world is not the same as it was many years ago. And you know, and before I get off, I sign off this talk. I I can't even talk today because I'm way too tired. I've been working all day before. Before I before I get off this newscast, I need to talk about Facebook jail because um, Facebook jail has also driven people crazy, especially business owners when they try to promote and um, put Facebook groups and all that stuff, and then you know people report you and block you and all that stuff. So um, yeah, and that's the last thing I'm going to talk about. And yeah, so. That's what I want to talk to you about today is about that uh, Facebook outage and uh, Instagram and all that social media outage and people freaking out, all that stuff. So that's what I really want to talk to you guys about today. So um, I hope you find this video helpful that, you know, what we talked about today. <coughs> <coughs> um, I hope you find this video helpful on what we talked about today, what we discussed Um. Don't put your eggs in one basket. Do the word of mouth. Pass out bits of cards if you have to. Go to the door to door. I mean, just go back to the old fashioned way instead of doing it on Facebook all the time. Do it on social media all the time. Because, you know, if you sit on your butt all day just pr trying to promote and then you get and get in Facebook now and you freaking out, you have no source of income. I mean, stop depending on social media for your money. I mean, you know, there's a lot in life. That you can do to make money for your business instead of sitting on your butt. You know, you just have to put the work and energy into it. As long as you put your mind into it, then you will be successful in life. So, um, yeah, so that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about today. And, you know, I'm very tired. You know, I just want to make this video before I go to bed. So, um, there's that. So, all right. So, this is the newscast right there, and I'll see you next week for another newscast, or probably this week if, you know, I got time. So, um, so yeah, so I appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you in the next video. So, I'm Jerome Harden.
founder and graphic designer of Jerome Hardin Studios. I am out and peace.